the U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Office for the District of Minnesota pays tribute to the outstanding women honoring their legacy during this year's Women History Month celebration. Anna Eleanor Roosevelt was born on October 11, 1884 in Manhattan, New York to Anna Rebecca Hall and Elliot Roosevelt. She was the niece of President Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt's parents passed away at a young age, which left her prone to depression throughout her life. She was then raised by her maternal grandmother in Travoli, New York. However, at the age of 15, she was sent to Allenswood Academy, a private finishing school in Wimbledon outside of London, England. Roosevelt was beloved by everybody. However, in 1902, she was summoned home by her grandmother. At age 17, Roosevelt completed her formal education and returned to the United States. Following a two-year engagement, Roosevelt married on March 17, 1905 to Franklin Delano Roosevelt at a family estate in Newburgh. The couple settled in a New York City house provided by Franklin's mother, as well as a second residence at the family's estate in Hyde Park, New York. This union produced six children. Roosevelt was not a stranger to politics as her uncle previously served as President of the United States. Roosevelt supported Franklin Delano Roosevelt throughout many political campaigns, from his successful campaign for New York governor in 1928 to the day of his death. She dedicated her life to his purposes. Roosevelt served as First Lady of New York from January 1, 1929 to December 31, 1932. Following Franklin Delano Roosevelt's election win of the U.S. presidency, she became First Lady of the United States from March 4, 1933 to April 12, 1945. She was the longest serving First Lady in U.S. history. As First Lady of the United States, Roosevelt was outspoken and very involved in noteworthy causes throughout the U.S. She was the first First Lady to write a monthly magazine column and to host a weekly radio show. She also wrote a daily and widely syndicated newspaper column. On behalf of the President, First Lady Roosevelt attended and facilitated multiple speaking engagements on a variety of issues. She became an important connection to the African American population in the era of segregation. She arranged the appointment of African American educator Mary McLeod Bethune, with whom she ultimately developed a friendship. She opposed segregation law and would later serve as a delegate to the United Nations General Assembly. After the presidency and her term as First Lady of the U.S., Roosevelt became the first chairperson of the preliminary United Nations Commission on Human Rights. The U.N. posthumously awarded her one of its first human rights prizes in 1968 in recognition of her work. In April 1960, Roosevelt was diagnosed with a plastic anemia soon after being struck by a car in New York City. In 1962, she was given steroids which caused complications. She died of resulting cardiac failure at her home in Manhattan. Former Presidents Truman and Eisenhower honored Roosevelt at funeral services in Hyde Park, New York on November 10, 1962. Roosevelt lied next to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt at their National Historic Site in New York. Thank you, First Lady Roosevelt, for your service. <laughs>